Let's welcome our first seller to the stage, Patrick Cleary. Thank you. <laughs> yep, that's fine. So I believe that every neighborhood has a house where you go, oh, well, there goes the neighborhood. And if you don't know what that house is, it's yours. <laughs> now, I live in a duplex, and I've lived there for about 10 years. And my neighborhood is full of duplexes built around World War II. And the neighborhood goes, a bunch of couples will move in, and then they'll have their kids. And there's two bedrooms in these duplexes. And the first one is really small, perfect for a nursery. But that's about it. So when they have their second kid, they move on. And so the neighbors I had in this duplex have always been these nice young couples until uh, there was a couple who moved in next to me. I moved from the duplex next to me uh, to the duplex I'm in when a better unit became available. In my unit, which was an adjoining wall, the landlord really wanted to fill it fast, so he brought in Danny and Crystal. Now, Crystal, I think, was fine. I didn't see much of her. Um, but Danny, he's the one who had a lot to say all the time. So the first time he met me, he called me Pat, which I don't like. And I told him that a lot. So every time I'd come home from work, he'd say, hey there, Pat, how you doing? And I'd say, thanks, fine, Danny. Now, he and Crystal moved in together because they were about to have a baby. And he said, oh, oh man, Pat, Pat, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, it's a miracle. And I said, oh, have you been trying for a long time? And he said, nah. <laughs> so, so I didn't know exactly what that meant, but I said, oh, that's great, that's great. <laughs> so the first things that he moved into the house were two cats. The first one was named Portia, and the other one was named Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Those cats had the run of the house for about three weeks before they moved in, and I don't think he came home very often because you would just hear them running up and down and up and down and up and down the stairs in a very, very empty house. Finally, Danny moved in with a couple of folding chairs and I think an air mattress. Um, and that was it for a long time, which I didn't think was appropriate for a baby, but I wasn't being too judgy yet. <laughs> now, Crystal didn't really want to move in with him. And I knew this because he used to spend a lot of time out on the front porch smoking and screaming into his cell phone, why don't you love me? <laughs> like that. <laughs> and so, I got the impression that Crystal didn't really want to move in with Danny, but felt that she needed to move in with Danny because of the baby that was coming, because it was a miracle. <laughs> so eventually, uh, Danny comes up to me. He's like, hey, Pat, hey, Pat, hey, Pat, come here, come here, come here, come here. Do you know where I can score some furniture really cheap? I was like, I don't know, Bernie and Phil's or, you know, whatever. He's like, no, no, I mean, like, really super cheap. I don't have very much, and Crystal's moving in tomorrow. I was like, oh, I don't know. Crystal didn't move in tomorrow. Um, Crystal, <laughs> again, uh, she had a big argument about it. I know he had a big argument, because there were folding chairs just hitting the wall a lot. Um, and finally, I was uh, heading out for the night, and I said, uh, Danny was sitting on the front porch with his head in his hands, and he's like, yeah, women, man. And I'm like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> And I said, what's the matter? He said, oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. I said, why? He said, Facebook. <laughs> so I'm like, you do, there are privacy settings. You can just make it so, never mind. So I left. But eventually, Crystal did move in, and they had the most gorgeous baby daughter. Um, he showed me a picture of her uh, on his phone the day that she was born. Um, and I said, you know, well, how's Crystal doing? He said, oh, she is in so much pain in that hospital, Pat. You would not believe. I had to go out and score her some perks. <laughs> and again, I was like, Danny, literally the one place you can ask for opiates is in the hospital. <laughs> after giving birth. <laughs> but again, not really anything. So they lasted, um, I think they lasted two weeks after she had the baby. Um, and then she kind of slowly picked up and moved out. In between that, they had a lot, a lot of questions uh, that went sort of like, I heard nothing, then, what do you mean? And then uh, nothing, and then, no, but I love you so much. And that was, that was my life while Crystal was there, which was for about two weeks. Um, now, during all this time, apparently Danny hadn't been paying the rent. 
I knew this because my landlord, who was not especially subtle, used to keep putting the for rent sign out on our front lawn <laughs> and then taking it up and moving off. And occasionally, Danny would pick it up and throw it in the street. Um, but eventually, uh, he did kick Danny out after Crystal had moved out with the baby as well. Um, and when I went uh, over to see about uh, who could take over the apartment, because I had some friends who might be interested, he, my landlord said, it's going to be a while before it's going to be livable. And I, of course, not being nosy at all, was like, can I see? And <laughs> he said, absolutely. So I went in, and there was cat shit everywhere. Sorry, this is... W, cat excrement everywhere. <laughs> um, but the best thing about this was up in the nursery, he had left a crib that he had obviously found for cheap. Um, <laughs> and above it was a picture of Jesus. And above the picture of Jesus was the positive pregnancy test. So apparently it was a total miracle, but I'm really glad that they're gone. Thank you.